Damian Lillard's move to the Milwaukee Bucks is a game changer, and here is why. In the offseason, the Milwaukee Bucks secured Damian Lillard in a trade that sent Drew Holiday, Grayson Allen, and draft picks in the opposite direction. Before we delve into how this move will result in the Bucks dominating the Eastern Conference and their upcoming matchup with the Boston Celtics, it's crucial to acknowledge the departure of Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is a defensive force, often regarded as the best perimeter defender in the NBA. Adding to Milwaukee's challenges, Holiday was traded from the Portland Trailblazers to the Celtics. The Celtics now boast Derek White, an exceptional all-defensive guard, alongside Drew Holiday to bolster their defensive prowess in the backcourt. However, for Holiday, a significant drawback during his time with the Bucks was his inconsistent performance in the postseason, particularly in three-point shooting. He posted 38% three-point shooting rate in the regular season, but that dropped down to 28% in the playoffs in 2023. With all this being said, does Drew Holiday ending up on the Boston Celtics make Milwaukee worse? Well, we can't quite say just yet, as we haven't witnessed these two teams go head-to-head. -head. There are some certainties about the Bucks. Our offense is expected to be extraordinary, particularly if Chris Middleton can return to his all-star level of performance. In that scenario, the Bucks will likely be the clear favorites to win the NBA title. However, if Middleton doesn't reach his previous form, the Bucks will still remain a top contender for the title. This is because with Damian Lillard as the second option, the immense pressure that was once rested on Chris Middleton will no longer be a significant factor, leaving Middleton at worst to just be a spot-up three-point shooter. Another certainty for the Bucks will be the strength of their frontcourt defense, with Brooke Lopez, the runner-up defensive player of the year last season, taking a key role in anchoring their defense. This setup allows Giannis to roam as he's one of the best help defenders the NBA has ever seen. Furthermore, Jay Crowder and Pat Connaughton have demonstrated their ability to be solid defenders, and they are expected to lock up players on the perimeter moving forward. However, a lingering question over the team is who will be the fifth starter for the Bucks in the postseason and regular season. Here are three lineup possibilities. Option one suggests having Pat Connaughton as the starting shooting guard. This decision would be based on his track record of hitting big important shots come postseason and his ability to offer solid defense. Notably, the Bucks utilize this approach in the 2021 playoffs where they won the title. Connaughton's experience and success in the playoffs make him a valuable asset in critical postseason moments. Option two presents a unique lineup configuration for the Milwaukee Bucks, featuring Bobby Portis in a jumbo lineup alongside Giannis at the small forward and Brooke Lopez at center. This particular lineup has been used by the Bucks on occasion and it's notable to make the opposition change their lineup, particularly when facing teams like the Golden State Warriors, the Miami Heat and the Phoenix Suns that frequently run small ball lineups. The key to this lineup's effectiveness is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Despite typically playing the power forward or center, Giannis is capable of guarding smaller, quicker players on the small forward position. This combination of size, agility, and defensive skills allow him to adapt to challenges posed by smaller opponents. This not only disrupts the opposing team's offensive schemes, but also allows Giannis to use his shot blocking and rebounding abilities effectively. Bobby Portis playing at the power forward adds an interesting dimension, as Portis is known for his three-point shooting ability as he stretches the floor. This means Bobby Portis is able to create space in the paint for Giannis and others to get open drives to the cup. Portis' offensive skills can be a valuable asset as he has a go to post up game, can hit outside shots, and can also make aggressive drives to the basket. Option three introduces Malik Beasley into the conversation at the starting shooting guard. Head coach Adrian Griffin has made it clear that he envisions Malik Beasley taking on the crucial role of guarding the opposing team's best player on a nightly basis. In this configuration, Beasley is expected to combine his floor spacing abilities with a focus on providing dependable defense, even if it may not reach an elite level. Placing Malik Beasley in the starting lineup as a designated defender against the opposing team's best defender indicates a team's shift in defensive strategy. This role requires Malik Beasley to use his defensive skills to contain and disrupt opponents' primary offensive threats. While he may not be considered an elite defender, his commitment to the task can make a significant impact on the team's defensive performance. Malik Beasley is one of the best knockdown three-point shooters in the entire league, as his three-point shooting and scoring ability can create offensive spacing, allowing other players on the team, especially ball dominant stars, to operate more effectively. The success of this lineup option depends on Beasley's ability to balance scoring and defensive responsibilities. By entrusting Malik Beasley to play a more prominent defensive role, the Bucks coaching staff will be hoping he he grows on that side of the floor. However, if we were the Bucks coach, we would consider a different approach, moving Chris Middleton to the two and inserting Jay Crowder at the starting small forward. During the preseason, Crowder has displayed sharp defense and three-point shooting qualities that the Bucks are looking for on their fifth starter. Jay Crowder has a proven track record of providing these skills throughout his NBA career at the starting level. Now, to the question on everyone's mind, how will the Milwaukee Bucks match up with the Boston Celtics and other contending teams around the league? Against the Celtics, the ideal starting lineups for both teams present intriguing matchups. For the Celtics, a starting five of Drew Holiday, Jay Dylan Brown, Jason Tatum, Kristaps Porzingis, and Al Horford could provide a formidable combination. On the other hand, the Bucks may consider running the lineup of Jay Crowder as previously mentioned. In this scenario, Jay Crowder would match up against Jason Tatum, given their similar size, while Chris Middleton would be tasked with defending Jalen Brown. Giannis Adenokounmpo would take on the challenge of guarding Kristaps Porzingis. For the Celtics, the sixth man role would be crucial, with Derek White and Drew Holiday sharing defensive responsibilities against Damian Lillard. This tag team approach would make it difficult for Lillard to score consistently. However, Damian Lillard being the superstar he is, he He's still likely to score around 25 points per game with good efficiency. A big reason for that is because the Celtics cannot afford to overcommit to guarding Lillard, as doing so they would 
leave Giannis and Middleton open for scoring opportunities. The high pick and roll with Giannis and Damian Lillard is potentially an unstoppable play. If the defense locks in on stopping Giannis's drives, Lillard, one of the game's best three-point shooters, is left with an open look. And if the defense denies the pass back to Lillard, Giannis has a clear path to the basket for a high percentage shot. The only option for the defense is to send more help, which in turn will leave Chris Middleton, Jay Crowder, or Brooke Lopez open for easy three-point shots or even dunks. Both Damian Lillard and Giannis Adenokounmpo are excellent passers, making this offensive strategy a highly effective one. This is a matchup that plays into the Bucks' strengths on offense for sure. While defensively would be a challenge, as guarding Jalen Brown would be a difficult one for Chris Middleton. Out in the Western Conference, the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers boast their taller lineups, which could pose challenges for the Milwaukee Bucks. However, the problem with the Lakers and the Nuggets lineup is that they lack a defensive guard, since Bruce Brown and Dennis Schroeder have both found new teams in Indiana and Toronto. The Lakers, however, possess a significant size advantage that could make things tough for Giannis. Given that their roster includes Anthony Davis, Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, Christian Wood, and of course LeBron James, who Giannis would be tasked with defending. If the Lakers and the Bucks were to end up in the NBA Finals, the spotlight would likely be on Damian Lillard, as his potential matchups would include D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, and Gabe Vincent. The Lakers would likely be crossing their fingers that they don't have to play the Bucks in the Finals. While in the case for the Nuggets, they do possess a taller lineup, but not defensively, as they have Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and Nikola Jokic. Just two out of those three players are just not guys you can rely on defensively. So, what do you think the Milwaukee Bucks record will be in 2024, and do you think they are the favorites? Let us know in the comments below.